we're in up Holland now and uh, we're outside a pub here called the the Holtz Arms. Nice place, Paul. Bit of history to this, you think? The gardens there, gorgeous gardens. Yeah, 1721. I mean, that's the Georgian era, isn't it? The early Georgian era. I mean, um, what was the population of England then? Three, four million. So a place like this would be very significant. I mean, look at the size of that, Mike. Look at that slate roof there. Half timbered, black and white. Lovely. And the old England, the old pubs, you know, the boozers. Sadly, with this COVID nonsense, it's still locked. Nobody's dying of it, you know. So why lock the pub? Well, I know, uh, it's dreadful, isn't it? Come here today for some fish and chips and a pint, but we're still denied. Let's take a little walk in the garden here, Mike. Isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. Fragrant. Smells nice, that pool, does it? Yeah. Beautiful smell. Yeah, I might be a bit of horticulture there, St. John's Wort. I think yeah. we're coming up to St. John's Day now, June the 23rd, is it? I think it's the day. Oh, is that what these flowers are called? Yeah, St. John's Wort is the flower on St. John's Day. But it's oh. actually the Rose of Sharon. Yeah. It actually comes from the Holy Land, that. The Rose Does it? of Sharon. Sharon's a, the valley in the Holy Land, the plain, yeah. plains of Sharon. And this is where the, it's a type of rose. Very common garden plant. Holt Arms. Imagine yes. People have had a pint in there through the ages. Yeah. Well, it's 1721, so it's literally 300 years ago. Wow. So people have been eating and drinking in that place for 300 years. Old England. Tragically, we all feel under pressure, don't we, with old England? Mass immigration, transforming all our cities, pouring out now into the towns. They come amongst us and this means nothing to them. So, it, it won't be long now, will it, Paul, until we become a minority in our own country? Well, that would be absolutely tragic, but you go to London, you already feel like you're a minority in your own country. Birmingham's yeah. the same, Manchester, uh, Bradford. You know, all these great urban centres of England which when I was growing up in the 1960s were still quintessentially English towns and now they call them multicultural but it seems like we're being pushed out of them yeah. we're losing what is yeah. ours what's the gain to us? what's the gain? what, what do we gain? for giving our country away to fondness? I just don't understand nothing it. it's insane we've just come up here to uh, further on in to up Holland beautiful landscape uh, what do you think Paul? The sun's out Mike the sun is out the sun is out the sky, sky is, is blue, blue. There's, there's a few clouds, but it's not spoiling the view. But look at this here now, lovely greenery. England's green and pleasant land. And there's a tractor coming along to, just to spoil the view. Walk down here, mate. You alright, mate? Weeding, are you? Are you okay? Are you okay there, mate? Yeah, good. Cheers, mate. That's still filming, mate. That's still filming. Yeah. That's an action shot, that, with the uh, tractor. Let's, let's go and look at the uh, Oz Street Rape over here, Mike. Yeah, it's incredible. We're in, the, we're in the countryside now. We're in up Holland, you know, a middle-class suburb. You forget all that middle-class stuff. Just no, on I've got nothing against the middle classes, personally, no, Paul. Well, it's not all my family are middle-class, and members of my family love oh, live here, Paul. Just they just live here. Just drop it. Whoops. Thanks, Constable. How beautiful is this place, Paul? Okay. Is that rapeseed, is it, Paul? Yeah, I'll, I'll see rape. How beautiful is it? Sea of yellow. England's green and pleasant land. But now we see the sea of yellow. Come, yeah. uh, summer. We're in midsummer now, aren't we? We've passed midsummer. We've Haven't we got a beautiful country, Paul? What do you think? It's a beautiful country that we live in, isn't it? Well, we should be proud of our country, shouldn't we? It's the envy of the world, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful but, uh, country. Mild climate, very mild, but, you know, pleasant. Uh, we, need, we need to hold on to our spaces. I mean, there's so much building going on now. They're getting rid of the green belts. And um, the, the English countryside is... is 
it's just magnificent, isn't it? To think well, the reason this green land is being built on is obviously because of the mass immigration into the country over the years, over the last 25 years. The population Mass exploded. immigration that started with the Labour Party, obviously. Since 1997, 10 million plus people have come into this country. 10 million. And the Labour Party are largely responsible for this. Well, the Tories have kept it going, sadly, because they're globalists as well now. Yeah, they're but all globalists. When you get population increasing that size, I mean, we're talking about a city the size of London there. It's a fast, in, in a small land like England, that's a, it's a fast increase. Not only do they need houses, they need hospitals, they need schools, they need places of worship, they need places to work, they need extra roads. The pressure on the country is enormous. And so why are we allowing this? Why are I we don't just know, open Paul. the doors? I mean, this is a why scientific not? fact, what we're speaking about now, this debate. And yet, if you speak like this, you're deemed to be a racist or a bigot or a fascist. It's unbelievable when you're speaking about something that is an actuality. But, you know, our politicians, they want us to believe in that which isn't true. And, you know, which isn't a reality. And to believe in unreality as being truth and lies as being truth. Well, George Orwell said in, in an age of universal deceit, anyone who speaks the truth is given a revolutionary act. Yeah, that's true. Just, just, I mean, you know, people don't really want to talk about immigration. They don't want to talk about heavy issues. But you can't escape it. It's impacted everything now in Britain. And it's transforming, we're being transformed demographically. There's a new population coming to our country. And we can see with this whole Black Lives Matter uh, that they can be stirred up against us. This is really, you know, it's, it's concerning that they, 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 they've created this division. They've created this, this schism in our society, this fracture, then against us. Suddenly, to be white is to have the finger pointed at you. Suddenly I'm the repository of white privilege. No, I'm just an Englishman living in England. I don't have to justify that this is my country. This is the land that my ancestors have created and built over the years. We're just going to get something to eat in this old pub. It's called the Red Cat. We may be able to get fish and chips. Hello, love. You don't mind being on camera, do you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a vlogging camera. We're just going to go inside. Let's see what it's like in here, but it's nice. Now they'll probably tell me to stop filming in here because the British hate people who film. Oh, really. Hello, anyone at home? It's pretty dark in here, so I don't know whether the camera <laughs> will pick up the, uh, you know. It seems to be empty as well. Is it empty in here? Well, they are serving. It's 20 past four. Nearly 20 past four. Do you live here, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. We want to get something to eat anyway, because we've been out vlogging, haven't we, Paul? Well, we've been out, haven't we? We've been out filming anyway. Thanks very much, mate. What are you going to order, Mike? Yeah, I don't know. Fish and chips? No, it's a lot popular that here. Go on, fish and chips. I'll have fish, chips and peas, yeah, and two pieces of white bread. We're eating our dinner now, and as you can see, it's fish, chips and peas, and a, and a bap. Well, we've just had our fish and chips, and we are now making our way to the Crank Caverns. Nice pub, lovely fish and chips. Did you enjoy your fish and chips, Bob? Oh, it's like a, like a brick in my stomach, there's so, so much of it there, you know? Watch your mic. Go on, you're okay. You're okay. So, we're driving up here, are we, Paul? Well, it's, I think it's about half a mile away, so we're very close to the caverns. This is the wonderful town of Crank, and um, we're near St. Helens, and all the local cranky people sunbathing in their gardens. Where exactly is this place, Paul? Are we going the right way here? I hope so. We'll soon be there, don't panic. Yeah, there's that road. You said about a road, I don't know whether that's it. No, that's not it. Beautiful place, beautiful countryside. The beautiful countryside of Crank. Well, there they are, Mike. There. How are we going to park there? Oh, there's Just a parking park here, place yeah. here. So we're okay. Here we are. There's the people we met on the bike. So we're just going to get in here and park as best as we can. We'll see you in a minute. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Let's carry on on the left. This is our heritage. This is our beautiful English countryside. Look how beautiful that is. We must cherish this. As working class people, we must cherish this. 
we're just making our way down there. We'll be there in a couple of minutes, won't we, Paul? I'm just going to have a rest here for a second, Paul. Walk in here, and I think there's some uh, potholders in here, I'm not sure. Are you guys potholders? No, they're just, no, just climbers. They're climbers, good. these are climbers. They're practicing grips. Just practicing them. grips now on the rocks, as you can see. Athletic lads. Strong, young, athletic, athletic men. Professional climbers. Professional climbers. Just practicing in the crank caverns. Well done. well done lad. So how many have you come out? Just you guys here? Yeah? Yeah. And you're just practicing now are you? Yeah, yeah. So you cry up in mountains and that do you? Small. You go to Wales and places like that yeah? yeah. Scotland's the place to go. Scotland, what is Scotland? The Highlands, the hot Highlands. Ben Nevis. Did this, this have something to do with the mines? Yeah, this yeah, is this yeah. is uh, this is mine and stone. This was it's it? Yeah, the, it's from the Viking era. It's sorry, from the Viking era. Yeah. I think you need to get this on your walk over here. Like, imagine the Vikings in it. So all life. this awkward practicing what you're doing now, <laughs> it's the awkwardity yeah. of it really, isn't it? That, so you can yeah. stretch your yeah. sinews and such like. Yeah. Incredible, isn't it? What they're doing, Paul? You've what do you think? You've got to practice. practice. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit like uh, gymnastics, isn't it? You know, you're just using your strength. But these guys, imagine on a, on a mountainside. You know, when their life's in jeopardy. And um, it, this thing in the back there, mate, is that like stuff you rub on your hands to keep hold of the rock? Yeah. Chalk, yeah? Chalk, yeah. Give a grip, and where do you guys come from? Down the road, St. Helens. Yeah. St. Helens, down the road, yeah. He's trying to get over there. Look how difficult that is. Now, obviously, when these guys are on mountains, you know, this is very serious stuff. They can't fall, so they have to make sure and they know what they're doing. Bravo, bravo, bravo! 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 Anyway, should we walk? Should we have a look down there? Did you get any girls doing this or just fellas? No, you get girls. Yeah. 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 You got less body weight, haven't you, to carry? Yeah, girls are a lot better than us. Lot they hang upside down, they're like bats, I call them human bats, they hang upside down. Yeah, some of the world's best no fear. women like. No challenge too great for them. Got bigger hips, haven't they, and stuff like that. <laughs> stronger legs. Next year they're flying out to Utah. Strong. Utah. And what's that up there? Is that an open? Salt Lake. Do you want to take a walk down there, Paul, and leave these lads in peace? Yeah, Cheers so for talking to us, lads. Keep on climbing, keep on rocking. Canada. You all right, girls? Come join the climbers, the many climbers. This is a big place, as you can see. Well There's done, more potholders or climbers here. Who've been practicing? There's their gear there. It's a good place to get lost in the venture, you know. The lads are having a barbecue. It looks like Aye. we're staying. We're staying for the sausages. They're the lads there. They're having a barbecue. What's down here, Paul? Just more deeper caves, you know. How, how far do you want to go? Well, I won't be able to make my way down there, Paul. Sorry. Hello. Is anybody down there? Yes, there are some ghosts down here. Ah, yeah, the Viking ghost. <laughs> the ghost of King Offal. And you can't really see up there now because the smoke is hiding everything. Come on, mate, let's get back to Terraferma. I'll see you guys. Terraferma. Come on, you've got a lot of atmosphere. I don't know if your camera can capture that. Just yeah, it'll catch all that on the white screen, yeah. Well, as, as you come here, as you go out, you get the light, see the light effect. Hello! Hello! This is like something out of the film Aliens. No, this, this is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Here. It's a wonder they ever used this in the film Aliens. The day thou gave us, Lord, has ended. We've had a good day. We've been up to um, Billinge, to the farm there, and we've been to Up Holland. We've come here to the Crank Caverns, which are a real experience to go and visit. 
and uh, we've had a, really enjoyed our day in the Lancashire countryside. We're going home now, we're heading to Liverpool. Liverpool is in the distance there. If you look closely, you can see the Seaford docks on the right, uh, the Beacon Tower in the centre, and that, the little solid block there, that's the Anglican Cathedral. 12 miles that way, Liverpool, homeward bound. See you, folks. Anyway, we've finished and we're now on our way home. We're driving home and um, just let that fan pass and let's pull out. Well, what did you think of today, Paul? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's tripping the open air, tripping the countryside. You want to do a full U turn here, Mike, if you can. Oh, we're going back the other way? Yeah. Oh, I've gone the wrong way there, so I've now got to turn the other way. I've got to do a U turn. But I'll, I'll turn here. Up this road and then this is back nice, out. Isn't like an old little chapel hall there. Isn't that beautiful, chapel? Paul? What do you make of that? It's beautiful, isn't it? I got you praying in the chapel. What a beautiful country we live in, Paul. It's what's amazing about England is that just hidden away in every nook and cranny is a little treasure, a little treasure from our past. You know that we can appreciate and enjoy, and it's it's uplifting. You know, see a little chapel like that, in such good condition. Think of all the people who have been married there, the kids have been christened, people have been baptised. Fantastic. What's the cyclist here, Mike? Looks like the Tour de France. Tour de France, Tour de France. Here we go. We're on Wish our way I home. Was homeward bound. Back to the big city. Back to the big city. From the countryside. <laughs>